3,000 meters, currently 11.30. I left the mid station about 8.40 this morning. So, taking nearly three hours, which is a lot slower than I thought, but got stuck behind various slow groups on the Ice Traverse at the start, so we are where we are. I have a big decision to make on the way down, regardless whether I get to the top or not, because the tiny snow and ice bridge to cross the junction down there is not gonna hold this afternoon. It's gonna need to be done early in the morning, so might mean spending a night in the hut or trying to find another way down, but we shall see. Got plenty of hours to go yet before I make that decision. The first big decision I need to make is whether I go up to the north ridge of Domdaguta or chance the Petit Plateau, but we shall see. So I decided to take the north ridge of Domdaguta because every time you cross the Petit Plateau, it's a game of Russian roulette and people died there a couple of weeks ago. So I think I'll limit my crossings to one today. This way's a bit harder, a bit more technical, a bit steeper, but a bit safer. So I can see there's a couple of people way up there as well. So I'll have company. <laughs> There she is, Mont Blanc. Still have a long way to go. I'm about 4,000 meters now, so another 800 meters of vertical, in theory. We shall have to see if I get there or not. I might turn around at the Valley Bivouac. Got tons of daylight though, it doesn't matter how late I am really, especially when I'm gonna stay at the hut. Made up the North Ridge of the Dom de Guta, without having to take the skis off. Someone have found an a, a ingenious way through the seracs and crevasses, which is a little bit scary on your own, but not as scary as climbing the black ice on the North Ridge would have been with ski mountaineer and crampons and axe. But yeah, slow progress, but progress nonetheless. We shall see how far I get. Need to decide what to do now. 
about 4,200 meters just below the Valle Bivouac, which is up there. That's about 4,300, 4,400. So, four, four or 500 meters to go from there. Five or 600 meters to go from here. So, <clears throat> still quite a long way. I've got plenty of time. I mean, it's about 3.30. And yeah, it's light until 8 p.m. But what I haven't got plenty of is water. It's two and a half liters drunk. I still need more. So, yeah, have a little rest, have some food, and then decide what I do. Decided I'm going to head down. Mont Blanc will still be here next year. I've already summited a bit before anyway, so I don't actually need to summit it. I'm just out for a ski. Yeah, dehydration and altitude don't mix, so a bit risky. Go to the bottom of the ridge with no water left. It's good to stumble and fall off it, and then I'll be dead. It's a bit of an awkward time to be heading down now because the snow's as good as it looks. I'll be back at the refuge in less than an hour, but. I'm definitely too late to, to get the last lift down. So I've either got a, a long, very arduous walk down to the Chamonix, or I've got a, quite a long evening spent in the refuge with no food and no water. Of course I could buy something, but... Yeah, so lessons learned for next time. If I want to do it from the mid-station in one push, definitely to spend the night at the Plan de Ligue refuge and get an earlier start. And also, having spent the night there means I've got the benefits of altitude, whereas I live at 500 meters now, so my body's not really acclimatized at all. I did camp Grand Paradiso a couple of weeks ago, but you lose that again pretty quickly. So yeah, spend the night in the refuge at the mid-mountain, or do it in one push, or just, <coughs> or just do what everyone else does and go to the Grand Moulet refuge, do it that way. It's definitely quite easy if you stay and spend the night in the Grand Moulet. Yeah, till next year. That's the end of my ski season for now, I think. So. Well, it's definitely the official end of my ski season. Doesn't mean it's the last time I'll ski because of course you can ski all year round up in the Valley Blanche, but yeah, time to put the skis away and head home. This is the Petit Plateau down there, as you can see. And those racks there and there are very active, so you don't want me hanging around down here. It's worth the risk on the way down because you can just straight line and hopefully outrun anything. But on the way up, I've been in the firing line quite a while. As I say, a couple of people died a week or so ago. That's probably the debris from the Srak pool you can see down there now. So, quite a daunting place. Don't want to hang around down there too much. I was only about 20 minutes down to the hut. That's for stopping to talk to the camera as well. So, I'll be down in no time at all. I think I'll head to the ice bridge and have a look, see what condition it's in. Worst case scenario, I'll just skim back up to the hut. But I'm thinking maybe with crampons and axe out, I might be able to jump across it, vertical limit style. So, we shall see. First, I'm going to enjoy for the turns those lovely powder fields over there. So, the snow bridge I was worried about. Is that thing there where all the footprints go, which is really narrow and got its massive end to cut as well. It looks like people have found another way just down here, which if I can keep the skis on, it's definitely preferable. So I'm gonna have a look down here first. Hopefully I can get across. So you're watching this video, so obviously I made it, I survived. I'm very thankful to be over that step though, because that was a huge worry. Obviously, yeah, I've missed the last lift down, so I'm gonna have to have a long walk down, but at least I can find water on the way down. So and I get to sleep in my bed tonight as well. Should be a relatively pleasant ski across the Boston Glacier now, with the nice soft snow, decent track, 
Should be quite quick, quite fun. So I'm back at Para, which is the old mid station, and I'm tantalizingly close to the actual lift station. You can see the lift's still running, but it's still actually a hell of a lot of effort to get there. So I think I'm just gonna ski down, straight down here. Hope I find a path, hope I find a waterfall, and then yeah, have a bit of a slog out along the forest at the bottom, but I almost certainly won't get back to the lift in time for the last lift, whichever time it is, so yeah, this is the better option. But yeah, one adventure. Didn't make it to the, to the summit, but for once it doesn't really matter. It's all about just having a one last good ski. And certainly that's what I had, so till next season.